Keep me straight. Woo, cold. Fucking cold. To the right. Look at that rock. There you go. You're gonna hit it. I knew that was gonna happen. Shit. Whitewater is an inherently dangerous sport, and if you don't have the right skills, there can be really major consequences. After a detour from Portland, Wintercept is back at Rogue to finally try paddling at Whitewater Rapids for the first time. This guy September called me and he wanted to do this outrageous uh, documentary. Nobody else would collaborate with him, and I'm here to help him in his documentary and his little format. Hey! Yeah. Hit the back, right? Yep. It's, it's not winter yet, you know. And so, Rob sent his best guy, Eric, who gave Wintercept a rundown on what to do before heading into the river. And for today's paddling, they will be using a catamaran. A different type of boat, as opposed to the typical inflatable rafts. As the beginning route of the upper Rogue River, The two paddlers started at Alameda and will end their paddle at Grave Creek. Hey, that was pretty fun. That's something sort of wet. Did you get something wet? Ah, uh, such a thing. with plenty of calm water in between rapids. Wintercept is slowly getting the hang of it. So I met Seth through a friend of mine, Rob, who asked me to guide him today. So uh, it's all started out okay, and from the first three rapids.
with a couple of rapids under his belt. Winter Sept is surely, enjoying the whitewater rapids. Until... So we went from, we went from Alameda to um, Argo, which is, a, which is, a, is a, an experience in a beginner's course. And it all went pretty well. And so, uh, there you go. You can hit it. I knew that was gonna happen. Watch out for the big rock. And uh, jumped in the river and <laughs> had me worried for worried about him for a minute. Um. Pretty straight. Woo! Woo! Cold. Fucking cold. fun. No one died. <laughs> um. After flipping over and getting wiped out on the river, Wintercept decided to call it a day. As he suffers from mild hypothermia due to the cold water, for someone with the word winter on his name, he's not really get used to cold weather at all. A quick taste of rapid experience have made Wintercept realized that he need more whitewater practice to correct his mistakes. So he left Rogue River and travel north to yet another state named after the first president.
As Winter Sept arrived in Usum, he learned that the river here is much narrower, with a much winding rapids. To get into this type of rapid, he needs another expert to guide him. And much to his surprise, his guide is a lot younger than he realized. Uh, my name is Eli, I'm 14 years old, and uh, I like to whitewater kayak. I got into whitewater kayaking about two and a half months ago. And uh, I just met some professional and some really good classified builders who have taught me everything. And I'm trying to get a scholarship to Wicca, the World Class Kayak Academy, for next year. And that's what I like to do is kayak. I'm Teresa Golding. I'm Eli's mom. Eli is my full-time job. He's 14 and he came in to me a week or so ago and he said, hey mom, I want to help someone with their documentary. Eli is a good kid at heart and a kind and thoughtful individual and I'm always happy to help him. In May, and he said, Hey mom, I think I want to start whitewater kayaking. And I'm like, Okay. And I uh, had a lot of exceptional kayakers step up and take them down for the first time. And once I saw that he could roll, Uh, get himself upright if he got underwater. Then I started breathing a little bit better. And, uh, and I felt a lot safer after I saw him with some of the, the men who were kind enough to take him down and get started. In just about three months on the rapids, Eli now almost moves like a pro. And getting better every time he dipped on the white water. But of course, every professional's started from a humble beginning. I'm not sure. 15 or 20 minutes? Maybe. And I don't know what we have here, but back in our factory in Pennsylvania, we have a couple stations and they'll wait and kind of do a bunch at once. Mm -hmm. As a young kayaker, Eli is a member of a newly formed club. 
a fantastic group of young individuals that help other kids get into whitewater. I'm currently working on starting a kids kayak club called the Columbia Gorge Junior Kayaking Club. I'm super excited uh, to share my passion with the river with all of these awesome kids. So how long? Uh, kayak club for people that might not have the resources, the car for a shuttle or parents who teach could teach them to kayak or pay for kayak lessons. So they got together and they made this um, amazing club. There's so many kids who want to learn how to kayak or who do kayak, but they don't necessarily have the resources um, or the means to continue to improve their kayaking. They're constantly learning, not only improving their kayaking skills to go to other rivers around the area and around the world, but uh, learning about safety and rescue and conservation and the environment and you know protecting rivers and and just trying to get more and more kids involved. Whitewater is an inherently dangerous sport, and if you don't have the right skills. Um, and the right equipment and the right mentors to show you down there can be really major consequences. So ten tonight we were helping them um, learn how to fix their own latex gaskets on their gear and other gear repairs. So I just really want to open doors for kids to uh, help them experience the same thing that I've experienced and you know whitewater kayaking has totally changed my life it's changed how I perceive myself and how I perceive the world around me the goal is to just get more people outside outdoors to enjoy the local resources here that we have um, appreciation for for where the where they're growing up a lot of people don't really even realize this is here in, in their backyard Uh, it's through interacting with nature, uh, you build a really strong bond with nature and you inherently care about our world so much more. And I think by investing in activities in which we interact with nature and we recognize the need to preserve our world. You know, one of the best things that, that can happen around here and we are here to support them in any way we can. Every day that we go out and paddle on the river together, everybody's happy and healthy and appreciative of everything we have around here, as opposed to a day where, you know, we're, we're at home and you know, we're yelling at our kids to get off of uh, computers and video games, so um, you just can't beat it. And... We are creating a world for future generations and we are creating a place in which our world will thrive rather than struggle to survive. With his previous experience on whitewater, Wintercept is excited to get into a more challenging rapids. Under the tutelage of his young, aspiring kayak master. So, whitewater kayaking is a big passion of mine. It's different from whitewater rafting by, you just have more mobility on the river and all the rapids seem bigger. You're in a smaller boat. You have more freedom on where you can go. Uh, it's different from kayaking in a lot of ways. One of them is you have whitewater, which is big waves that's gonna start pumping your adrenaline up. So I met Winter Sepp through a Facebook group. He just reached out and said, I'm trying to film a documentary and I need some help. I said, yeah, I'm down. 
I always like helping new people and getting them in the sport. Uh, Winter Seb came up in a mask. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of Corona. Uh, definitely really hot outside. Don't know why he kept it on. Got him a helmet, a dry suit so you don't get hypothermia, and the helmet protects your head obviously, and the life jacket keeping you afloat because all those things are incredibly important for whitewater kayaking. The winter step get into his, his uh, size large wetsuit and kind of fun to watch him uh, get into the gear. And you know, the guys around here, they just drop their pants and throw their swimsuit on or whatever. After meticulously getting into gear, Eli and Winter Sept will take the route on the Lower White Salmon River. From Usum Falls to the Northwestern Park. so far. Super fun? Yeah. Yep. here at the White Salmon River right now and uh, it's one of the best places in the world to kayak. Cool, you ready to go? Um, it's um, absolutely beautiful. There's beautiful gorges and it flows through beautiful um, protected land right into the Columbia River. Salmon River, it's the river I grew up paddling on. It's one of my favorite rivers in the world. I really love it. 
the key things about this river for kayakers is we have um, many sections of whitewater from very, very difficult to uh, class two. It has everything from class two to class five, um, which is really great for beginners, but also is really great to learn how to progress. There's a section called the lower lower, which is more advanced. It's a class three with a solid class five in the middle of it with steep, pretty canyons. And then there's something called the middle, which is just some technical class three for advanced kayakers and a 10 foot waterfall at the end. And then there's also solid class five with multiple waterfalls more upstream. The run we went down is called the Lower White Salmon and it's kind of an intermediate run, beginner. It's okay for beginners, you have the right guides with you so they can help you if you flip over. It's curvy, but we just wanna go straight to the right. See that pool of water? That's where we wanna be. I'm filming a documentary, so I'm taking him down for his first time. Yeah. Paddling for an hour. Have gain winter sept, enough experience to avoid the rocks. This time. Uh, coming around Dead Man's Corner, class three. Yeah, paddle fast. Just paddle fast right through this curler like this. Done. He made it safely around the rock and it was good from there. He was nailing the whole run. He's too far to the right. He was doing pretty well. He was just, just an inflatable kayak. And it was a good time. And he just had a blast. And he's doing great and enjoying it. So this was a fun project for him to get to do.
Okay, hi, I'm Rob. So I'm Mayor Thomas Munichal. All right, so uh, my name is Eli, I'm 14 years old. Um, I'm Teresa Bolving, I'm Eli's mom. My name is Kara Weld. Um, my name is Naomi, and I'm a local whitewater kayaker from the Columbia River Gorge. And I run river dance rafting and rentals out of Grants Pass in Merlin, Oregon. And I, uh, I, I own River Dancers Customer Rafts. I build rafts to, to, your, to fit you. Uh, I'm a student at GHS and uh... Eli is my full-time job. I'm 18 years old and I recently graduated high school. And I'm the co-owner of Immersion Research. We make whitewater kayaking gear and apparel. Anyway, this guy September called me and he's colossal. He, he's, he's got these outrageous ideas that just seem to go for miles. And all I can say is, I can't wait to see it. Uh, hopefully he learned something today. I hope this makes me famous. <laughs> Eli is quite tall. Uh, Wintersep is not. And so it was uh, fun watching uh, Wintersep get into his, his uh, size large wetsuit. Um, I met Wintercept at the takeout of the white salmon today. Um, so we met Wintercept today here. Um, I got off the river with some of the kids that we paddle with. Um, and yeah, he had just gotten off the river um, from paddling with one of our local youths who took him down the lower for his first time kayaking. Realizing that he's been introduced to the white salmon now. It sounded like he had a lot of fun and that he did really well. Oh, and um, I'm sure that that he won't stay away for long. He'll be back through here because it's not a better place to be. 